so <clears throat> this is a video that I intended on getting out yesterday. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Um, there's just a lot of stuff going on. And you'll see in the video, you know, what I'm talking about. Here, let me scoot back a little bit. Um, so anyway, this is going to be a, a bit of a long video. And I apologize for that. But like I said, there was a lot going on um, to get my storage unit cleared out. So stay tuned for the video clips. And then, of course, after the video clips, I'll do the breakdown. So it's the next day um, after the video I posted yesterday. So there's there's the washer I said I hadn't done anything with. There's the dryer or the stove, I mean, where I said I left it pretty much intact, just took out the electrical. Um, there is the, a dryer that um, I said I hadn't done anything with yet. And so I'm gonna be taking that apart today. Here's the other washer that was up on the trailer. Um, I'm gonna be taking that apart today, hopefully. But on my trailer today, I've got this um, Brickman. I think it's a six burner grill. It took three people to load, which really sucked. And then I've got this deep freezer. Um, I can't, they, they paid me for this. Um, this cannot go to the metal recycling center. So I'm gonna have to um, just do, you know, uh, well, it's, it's gonna go to the landfill. Luckily, like I said, they paid me for it. And then um, here is an upright uh, washing machine. This thing took two people to load. So I'm not going to do anything with this really. The only thing I'm going to end up doing with it is uh, cutting the cord off. And that's because of the fact that it took two people to load. So it's going to take like two people to unload. And then once I have it taken apart, it's going to take up way too much room. So I'm just going to cut the cord off, leave it on the trailer. Um, same thing with this freezer as I said I'm going to cut the cord off of that as far as the uh, grill goes I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with it yet um, it looks like it would be kind of a pain to get to the brass and things so I'm probably going to leave that intact as well um, if it was like a four burner grill where I could look underneath and cut the brass off I would do that but again, since this thing is a beast, I'm just going to leave it on the trailer. Um, so anyway, I've got my work cut out for me today. I will continue this video in a little bit. So I've been here for a couple hours. As you can see, I've, I've done a lot of work today. Um, I got all the appliances ripped down, again, except for that stove. Um, there's a bunch of the scrap metal there. Got that drum and then these drums over here. So, um, oh, and then I've got all the rest of the motors that I pulled out. So now I've got a total of like seven motors, I believe. Um, and then of course, as you can see, I got quite a bit of copper in there, quite a bit of copper there. Um, so tomorrow, I'm gonna have to make, I was gonna try and see if I could get this all on the trailer. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Um, so tomorrow, I'm going to split this up. I'm going to take, obviously, the trailer, the stuff that's in the back of the van, and then maybe I'll grab, like, a couple of these motors, uh, or all of them. I'm not really sure. Um, go to the scrap yard, and then come back and load up all the extra scrap metal I've got, like the drums and that this stove, that scrap metal there, and then all the copper. Um, so I think that's my plan. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna cut this video off for now and I will continue it tomorrow. It's Monday, I'm on my way to the scrap yard for the first time today. I'm gonna have to make probably two loads, maybe three. Um, here's all the stuff in the back. And then of course, here's all the stuff on the trailer. And to make up the rest of the load, 
I decided to grab all the copper so you can see that there. Anyway, I'll continue this video in a little bit. So obviously I'm done at the scrap yard. Uh, but while I was out, I decided to pick up some more stuff. Here's a, an old, super old like window AC unit from like the 1960s. Um, this thing is really heavy, but there's no Freon in it. But there's a lot of copper, a couple of radiators, well like a radiator and a condenser, um, copper wiring, and then there is the electric motor, and I'm assuming that's probably what's weighing the most. I could be wrong. Um, in here, I've got this fireplace front. It looks like uh, brass, but I'm gonna check it when I get you know, to the storage unit because I didn't bring my magnet with me. Um, this could be just a, like a brushed finish on it, but I really won't know until I, you know, see if it's magnetized. In here, if I can open this up, I'm doing this one-handed. Um, there's like a bunch of, uh, it's not opening. There's like a bunch of brass and copper fittings in this bag and then also in this one as well. So I'm gonna check that stuff as well. Um, anyway, I got some more stuff to pick up. I think this is my last stop for the day, possibly. I might pick up some more if I have time, but anyway, there's the grill. The grill has no brass on it, so I'm not gonna do anything with it. Um, here's the hot water heater that I picked up. That's got copper on the end, so I'll cut that off. And then of course, here's this dryer. I'll be taking this apart, hopefully, if I have time today. Um, and then in the back, I've got a bunch of random scrap metal and that microwave. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to take the microwave apart. Again, it's going to depend on time. Anyway, off to the storage unit. I've had a slight change in idea. Um, instead of taking this dryer apart, um, I'm just gonna, I cut the cord off. I'm gonna bring it to the scrap yard that way. Um, and then of course I cut the copper off the hot water heater. Um, I did grab those two items, that one and that one. Um, and that's because if you don't have 200 pounds, but you do have something else such as copper or um, electric motors or something, they'll still pay you for the scrap metal that you do drop off. Um, I'm gonna get that microwave out of there and I'm gonna bring the rest of this scrap metal to the scrap yard. Um, can't really see it there, but that thing that looks like brass, I tested it. It is magnetic, so that tells me it's probably steel. Um, here's the cord that I cut off of the dryer. So anyway, I'm gonna get this microwave out and I'm gonna get to the scrap yard. Back here at the storage unit for the last time today. Um, I've gotta get this ripped down. And also I made another stop, but I didn't take a video of it. Uh, I picked up this little like, I don't know, uh, cot type thing. I think this actually goes, I think it's a hide a bed now that I think about it. So I'm gonna, um, be disposing of that today and then also at the same time I picked up all this and this is just mostly um, crap so this is gonna go right to the scrap yard for um, sh uh, shreddable tin um, there might be a couple of things in here that I can pull out but I'm not really sure I want to waste my time with it either so um, anyway I've got some work to do so I'll get back to you. Sorry about the wind, you guys. Um, anyway, this is what I've got done, and I'm really not happy. I cut the radiators off of that um, uh, AC unit, and then I loaded all this stuff up on the trailer. But here's the problem. I've still got all of this stuff in here to try to fit on my trailer or in the van or whatever. It's not gonna happen, unfortunately. Um, 
And also, not only that, but I ran out of time today. I, I It's either I take a chance and drive to the metal recycling center uh, and get there on time, but then in return, I wouldn't be picking my daughter up from daycare on time. Or I go pick her up from daycare right now, but then I wouldn't get to the scrapyard on time. So I'm going to have to um, call it a day uh, and think about this and see if there's something else I can do. Maybe a different way of loading the trailer or something. See if I can at least fit the rest of this flat metal on there. Uh, I'm not sure about the drums, but... And also, this AC unit. Um, I talked to the guy and I said, you know, I need to make sure that all of the Freon is drained out of it. And he said it was drained out in like the 1970s or something like that. So I took him at his word. And as soon as I started cutting the pipes off, everything came out. I'm talking everything. And that's what you're seeing all over the floor right now. So now... Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to have to go buy some kitty litter or something and dry this up because this oil cannot sit on the floor. Um, I'm really not happy right now. It started off a good day, and it's really not a good day right now. Talk to you tomorrow. So I said last night, or yesterday rather, that I was going to have to rethink how I was loading the trailer to fit everything. As you can see, I took some of the flattened down scrap metal and I basically made sides out of it so I was able to load everything up between here on the trailer and then in the back of the van um I'm not sh I'll have to take it nice and slow because some of this stuff I'm afraid you know might come loose if I drive too fast um but anyway everything's loaded um I'm not sure exactly how much weight there is I'm not really good at guesstimating weight. Every time I do, I'm way off. But, you know, we'll uh, we'll go to the scrapyard and see. I can tell you that it is quite heavy. I do know that. Um, the van is definitely sagging. So, um, you know, we'll just see what happens. Um, in fact, I think I'm about due for another trailer. Um, it <laughs> looks like this trailer's seen better days. I'll show you the inside of the storage unit. So I do have some cleanup to do in here, some sweeping and stuff, and I still got to get this oil up off the floor. I'll stop and get some kitty litter or something. Um, this AC unit, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It is taking a long time to rip apart. Um, all I guess, I, I, I do know that one of the things I need is an Allen wrench, which I don't have right now. Um, but you know, I guess what I'll keep doing is just picking away at it, you know, over time and disposing of the pieces until I get down to the, uh, canister thing over there. And, you know, then I'll have to figure out what to do with that. But, um, and then I'm, I'm still going to take the electrical out of that microwave and, and stuff. And I got some electrical attached to that circuit board up there. Um, but anyway, I think... I think I'm about done for the day. I uh, We're in the process of moving right now, too, so I think I'm going to call it a day and, and go home and take care of some of that. All right, so I have a big breakdown to go through, so sit back. Um, anyway, uh, I started, uh, my breakdown starts like this. I had number two, 45% uh, ICW. If you don't know what that means, look it up. Um, that was a payout of $5. Um, and I had, uh, I, I only had one of those. Um, that was a, a five pounds that I dropped off. Um, and then I had something called drop, which is basically like if you cut the cords off of like a dryer or washing machine, etc., you know, because it has the casing on it, it's called drop. Um, I had two. I had. I hate this phone. I had two 
uh, payouts of that. The first payout was $1.80 with four pounds. The second one was 90 cents with two pounds. Um, shred, I had one, two, three uh, drop-offs of that. Um, the first one was $33.60 with 840 pounds dropped off. Um, the second one was seventeen dollars sixty cents with four hundred and forty pounds dropped off. The third one was twenty four dollars and eighty cents with six hundred and twenty pounds dropped off. That's what I dropped off today was the six hundred and twenty pounds to make it a combined total of nineteen hundred pounds that I disposed of. Um, then I had aluminum breakage, and the aluminum breakage was eighty eight cents, and there was two pounds. That I disposed of. Then I had something called 1010 extrusion, which is like aluminum extrusion. They call it 1010. Um, I had uh, two uh, drop offs of that. The first one was 55 cents at one pound, the second one was $3.74 at 34 pounds for a combined total of 35 pounds. Then I had number two copper. The number two copper um, was nine dollars at three pounds. Then I had clean aluminum. It's I believe aluminum uh, radiators that I dropped off. Uh, Fourteen dollars and ten pounds. Uh, aluminum. I think this is like alum, uh, al aluminum breakage. Maybe no, I'm, I'm not sure what this is. Anyway, four dollars ninety cents, fourteen pounds. Um, I had brass breakage today. Brass breakage, 25 cents, one pound. Uh, electric motors, $3.45, 23 pounds. Um, radiator ends was $1.05 at three pounds. Uh, yellow brass, I dropped off some of that today. And the yellow brass uh, was $10.25 for $5.00. Uh, just you know, what I disposed of. So that means that my total payout just for the scrap metal that I delivered was $131.77 and a combined weight of 2,000 pounds. That is an average of 0 0.066 uh, per pound. Um, now, like I said before, my scrap metal yard uh, is paying... Uh, four cents a pound for shred. So I did, I mean, aside from like the yellow brass, the radiator ends, you know, that stuff, um, I did increase the payout of the shred a little bit by uh, ripping things apart. One of the things they told me that um, I should look out for is the motors that are with dryers or inside dryers. Um, they're coated to look like copper, but they're not actually copper. They're actually like aluminum, um, but because of the metal housing, they have to be considered shred. So um, I'm going to continue flattening appliances, but it's good to know ahead of time that the, those are considered shred um, because I don't have to worry about setting those aside. Uh, but, you know, like the, the motors that come out of washing machines, they said, um, you know, those kind of represent alternators. So those can still be considered um, as electric motors. And um, there was something else. Oh, um, they said, don't even bother pulling the electric motors out of microwaves because they're useless. Um, so the only thing I can do really with a microwave is pull the electric cords out. But since the the scrapyard doesn't actually pay you for microwaves, um, those actually get put into what they call a donation bin um, because they're useless. There's nothing you can do with them. Um, they don't consider them shred and they don't consider them anything. In fact, if you uh, bring them and toss them in the shred pile, they actually dock you on weight. So it's easier to just throw them in that, uh, 
in that uh, donation bin or don't pick them up at all. You know, I have to kind of decide is the copper that's inside them worth actually going to pick them up um, and for free, you know, um, or if I'm going to continue doing it, maybe I have to charge. But some people are really pissed off that I'm actually charging to pick up microwaves because, you know, they believe that there that there should be some value in them. And unfortunately, there just isn't. So the other thing I need to talk about is the uh, the deep freezer that you saw on my in, in my video. Um, those people paid me sixty dollars to pick up the, the deep freezer. And um, I had a 32 or uh, sorry, $28 uh, disposal on that, uh, which brought my profit to um, $32. So uh, total payout for the for the last couple days is $163.77. I did spend some in gas. I, I can't find my gas receipts right now. So I'm just kind of going off memory, but I spent um somewhere between 50 and $60. So that means that my total profit, my total net profit um, is between 103 and $113. Um, so anyway, I, I'm hoping that having this storage unit is going to pay off. Um, I guess only time will tell. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It helps me out. Have a great evening.